Hey guys, it's Lexis and I am back with a follow-up video on my Demi Tress's Peruvian Body Wave hair. Originally, if you saw my last video, I said I had 14, 16, 18 inches in Peruvian Body Wave. And now, you can see it is dramatically shorter. I did get it cut yesterday. I went to the salon and I asked him to cut off a lot of the hair. Now, but you're wondering, well, you know, you got the hair sent long, so why didn't you keep it long? Well, basically, um, when I first got the hair and I got it installed, of course, it's, it's just it's just great. You know, I bleached it. And, you know, I didn't think it was going to bounce back after I bleached it, but it did. It was great. It was silky, flowy, shiny, and all of that. So, um, I kept it straight for about a week, and then I curled it. You know, the curls were beautiful and everything like that, but as time went on, I started experiencing some tangling and, like, I would flat iron my hair, you know, it'd be straight, but then after a while, like, it'll just start tangling, you know, and when I brush it, you know, tangling has a lot to do with the amount of shedding as well, because if you brush your hair pretty hard, you're pulling the tracks, I mean, you're pulling from the weft, so of course you're going to pull hair out, and I felt like the tangling was accommodating to the shedding, because I didn't get a lot of shedding when I first got the hair done, even though I did get the, um, the tracks cut, my stylist cut them, I didn't get a lot of shedding so I was like okay maybe I'm brushing it too hard and it's it's just you know the hair's just coming out so um the, this time went on I just kept getting tangles and you know since the hair is long tangles are just just so much they're they're a lot worse because the hair is longer and if you can see how the hair is like bunching up and tangling obviously it's prevalent and it's, it's noticeable and I don't like that I like it for my hair to look presentable at all times so I figured the best thing to do was to cut it now I don't know if it's because I recently just washed the hair I did wash the hair um actually the day before yesterday before my hair appointment and I used uh organics macadamia oil shampoo and the um, conditioner i left the conditioner in my hair for about 20 minutes while i was in the shower I told you guys i washed my hair in the shower and after that i let the hair air dry i didn't blow dry i didn't want to blow dry it. i know the hair is already bleached so i didn't want to add any more damage than probably i've already done to it so after that I, uh, after I got the shower, I kind of let it air dry. I did add some cheese silk infusion, you know, because I added in all my hair, my real hair, any weave I use, I add cheese silk infusion to add to some silkiness. So, um, I noticed air drying it, flat ironing it, it was just, it was just tangled. And I don't want to say like nappy because it wasn't nappy, it just kept tangling from like the back of my neck on down. And I didn't like that because I don't like to constantly brush my hair like it's that's just something I don't want to do and since I was brushing the hair so hard you know it started damaging the ends like I have this 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 thing where I, I constantly pick at split ends so I had a field day just picking 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 and I was like okay ends didn't look like this before but me brushing it so hard you know I'm creating split ends at the end and you know I really didn't like that so I figured okay I'm just gonna go ahead and get this cut off into a nice style I curled it yesterday but you know I put my hair in a ponytail went to sleep and it just kind of came out like this so after this I will record a uh I will record a curling tutorial and I will be using my curling iron and my flat iron. But anyways, getting back to the point, this is a follow-up video because I want to let you guys know exactly what was going on with the hair. I love keeping you guys informed. That is that is my main goal because anybody that is willing to purchase hair with their hard-earned money, they are obligated to know anything that is going on with this hair. So, you know, I will let you guys know anything that's going on. So, I will, I will tell you guys that it, it has been tangling. So, um... I'm going to brush it for you. I think it's okay now that I cut it. I got rid of most of the, the areas that were tangling. And after I washed it, again with the uh, Organics Macadamia Oil Shampoo and Conditioner, I did re, uh, restore my color. I told you guys I used Adores Crimson and Intense Red, I believe. Ruby Red, probably. Um, I used that and... Because I knew once I washed the hair, the hair was going to rinse out and stuff like that. So yeah, it's it's not that short, but it's definitely a difference from how the hair 
was originally but you know I do like it it's gonna be a lot more um, manageable I don't have to worry about any of the tangling you know I will keep you guys updated if it does start tangling like this regardless I'm gonna let you guys know but um even when I had the straight hair you know I told you guys I use cheese silk infusion um I use my H2 Pro flat iron this is the only flat iron I've been using since um I've been making these recent videos here on campus and also I've been using this Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine um, flat iron spray and uh, you know when hair was longer I, when I would flat iron it straight you know it would, it would make the hair straighten a lot easier but I just don't know if it was the fact that I bleached the hair even though the hair did bounce back after I bleached it I don't know if that's still a factor on why it was acting like that or you know anything else but again I did tell you guys me brushing it so hard started to affect the ends and I don't like how I don't like how when the ends start looking straggly or you know you see too many split ends so I just had to get it hacked off so um you know I did want to keep you guys updated on this situation um but right now it's it looks good I'm gonna curl it because I am going out tonight but um yeah so um that's the rundown on how the hair has been going so far. Again, the only tangling, I mean, the only shedding that will come is if uh, the hair was really tangled and I have to brush the hair out really uh, hard. Um, a lot of people ask me how do I maintain my leave out because, you know, I, I do have leave out. I do use Hicks Edges. I stated this in my 2014 hair regimen video. I use this to slick down my edges. It's $14, but it's very worth it. Again, I use cheese silk infusion on my leave out here. Um, I don't blow dry my leave out. But I just braid it up, and then afterwards, I uh, use a pressing comb. Now, we get a lot of questions about the pressing comb. I bought an electric pressing comb from my beauty supply store, $19.99, very easy, uh, has an adjustable temperature, it goes from 200 up into 500, I use it on 500, it's not really like 500 degrees like how it would be if this was a real pressing comb on the stove, so I'm not worried about that, my hair is very thick, it can handle uh, heat very well, I don't flat iron my leave out that much. Uh, I do put my hair in a bonnet. I don't wrap my hair because for some reason when I wrap my sewing, my hair it just gets very, very itchy. It's very irritating. So I don't wrap it anymore like I normally did in my other videos. Um, as far as maintaining my hair underneath the sewing, I use oil that comes in an applicator tip. This is vitamin E oil that I got from our um, local beauty supply store. And we open it. it, has an applicator tip. You know, just lift your hair up. If you see a track, you just kind of put the oil in between and you just do that so you can avoid getting oil onto your extensions because that has been the main problem with um, adding oil to oil to your scalp without actually getting it onto your hair and I know that's a big problem nobody wants oily hair but uh I do those things you know to maintain my hair I wash it probably every two weeks and since this is colored hair I don't want to wash it that much therefore I won't add too many products to it again I want my virgin hair I use the organics macadamia oil uh shampoo and conditioner you can get any of these conditioners they come in different oils all that stuff i got mine from cvs you can get it from walgreens walmart target myers anywhere they're sold pretty much everywhere you can um possibly think of um but overall that is the rundown on how everything has been going with my hair how i tell you guys how i maintain my sewings you know i wash my hair in the shower um make sure you condition your hair very well i showed you the products that i use the utensils i use um you know i do use a, a bonnet I, uh, it's actually pretty funny my bonnet is right here it's about the size of a chef boyardee it's pretty big like yeah it's pretty big make sure that i keep my hair nice and maintained at all times got this from my beauty supply store it, took, it was like two dollars but um yeah you guys that basically um everything i want to discuss today and if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please leave that in my description 
the description please leave it in the comments below um i do have a youtube uh, uh youtube of course it's my youtube i have an instagram page linked to this youtube channel the instagram page is the name of my youtube channel l for lexi please go follow it i will be posting updates more hair tips making sure i keep you guys updated even if i'm not making videos so i would greatly appreciate if you guys go and follow that instagram i will leave the name of it below even though it is the name of my youtube channel um you guys have any um uh, business inquiries i will leave my business email below and again if you guys like this video uh thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you guys later in more videos bye